Newlands, second test between South Africa and Australia. Rabada comes in at David Warner like a wrecking ball, dismissing him for 30. Someone's drunk uncle gives Warner a send-off. Aussie coach Darren Lehman says it's disgraceful. I, I think it's been disgraceful. He says this level of abuse is not on at a cricket ground anywhere in the world and that they have gone too far. And personal abuse is not on at a cricket ground anywhere around the world, not just here. It's gone too far here. This from a guy who once got dismissed by Sri Lanka and stormed into the change room shouting cunt, 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 something that he was charged for. This from a guy who said he wanted to make an opposition player's tour of Australia a hostile one and send him back in tears and very much endorsed his players calling him everything under the sun. This from a guy from a country that once threw golf balls, broken glass and even pieces of chicken at an opposition player on the boundary. From a country whose fans think it's okay to call an opponent with a beard a terrorist. From a country where ex-players think they can call a player with a beard a terrorist while commentating. So I've actually said 3156 and I've turned around and I've gone to get my cup of tea. And I've gone, finally the terrorist has got a wicket. From a country that thinks dropping the K-word at South Africans is okay and whose ground staff were too ignorant to even think it was anything to be concerned about. But yes, let's focus on this heinous attack on David Warner. How will he sleep at night knowing some middle-aged chubby man with Sauvignon Blanc on his breath gave him a little send-off? If this happened in Australia, this would be great banter, hey Darren? You don't get to suddenly play the victim card when you get your own medicine. You need to grow a pair and get on with it. You are embarrassing all of those that wore the baggy green before you.